morning. <laughs> right. Wow. Um, I don't wish to share my troubles, but yeah, basically the last five or six weeks I've just been almost constantly depressed. So there you go. Um, that was fun. <laughs> back now right so listen there's uh, something flashed past me a couple of times i believe i think it's alex belfield has done it now on youtube so i'm not trying to copy it's just that things do go past me sometimes um there was a, a copper in cambridgeshire who he bought some donuts which were supposed to be nine pounds 95 i think it's a, a tray of these little crispy creme things you get i'm not quite sure um and he went and he took a a bag of carrots which was seven pence and he changed the price labels over <laughs> and he's being investigated now um so i'm sure he'll be cleared but you know it's cambridge obviously and um yeah well we all know they approve of theft don't they <laughs> so he'll just get a warning or something and then that'll come off his record in about a week um right well i, I don't w you know what Cambridge Police are from this channel, so I don't really see the need to go into that in any greater detail. Um, yeah, Boris, he thinks Nightingale Hospitals, he thinks that, that that's that's his thing. I've decided now. There's, I've, been, I've been pondering on this for a while, and, you know, there's a lot of stuff being rattling right now. They're saying they're going to be used for um, injecting the vaccine and all this sort of thing. And no... No, because why didn't they say that last time? Um, it's his thing. It's like Hadrian built the wall. So Boris had to build the Nightingale Hospital. Dude, this is straight up. Because let's face it, if you look at the last few prime ministers in this country, I mean, Thatcher will be remembered for council tax, amongst many other insidious things. Um... Major for the ERM. They, you see, they all think these are good things for the people. This, this is the point of this whole video. They all think these are good things. Um, major for the ERM. Blair for the human rights. And possibly race relations. I'm not quite sure. Which have obviously gone horribly wrong. Um, but of course, human rights was only ever pushed through by Sherry Blair, who just happened to be what? Oh, that's right, a human rights lawyer. Um, so that's how they made their fortune. Brown, I'm not sure. Brown for, probably for bankrupting the entire fucking country um, because he, he basically did that when he was Chancellor and then laughed at the people for a couple of years when he was PM. Um, Labour. I watched a documentary on it, which, which I think may have been a bit after 2010. But Labour were apparently setting up Peter Mandelson and all that lot, you know. He was a, he was an evil bastard. Um, Peter Mandelson, all I was sitting up at two o'clock the following morning during the count, just realising that they might not win the election, which pretty much everyone had said for about the last year, I think. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, yes, Thatcher for for council tax, major for ERM, Blair for human rights, Brown for bankrupting the country, Cameron instigated the referendum, never thought anyone would vote to Brexit and lost his job because of it. So that's his fucking marker in history. Um, Theresa May attempted to sell us down the river to the EU and got told to fuck right off. So that's that's what she'll be remembered for. And this is Boris, this is it. This Boris wants to be remembered for the Nightingale Hospital. He thinks are fantastic. They're all empty. right? Out of the six of them across the country, I think 35 beds have ever been used and that was when they went up the first time. At the moment, as far as I'm aware, they're all still empty, as are most of the hospitals. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's happening there, other than they're basically trying to kill us all. Um, I mean, what can you... You know, they've stopped cancer appointments for therapy and treatment and other things, and they've had manic depressives locked in their houses, so they've committed suicide, and old age pensioners have fucking starved to death because they were actually too afraid to go out because the government was using mainstream media. Mainstream media were working for the government to spread fucking terror, which in the war was actually, Second World War was actually a criminal offence. And I think remains so until about the, the 60s or 70s. Um, they, I think it was called spreading d despondency. So that they could have actually all been sent to prison if that, that was then. <sighs> uh, you know, 
and 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 he's he's putting up these nightingale hospitals, and that's he thinks this is fantastic, right? He thinks he's Hadrian building his fucking wall, right? If we'd got it the other way fucking around, we could have built the fucking wall now. Granted, that would have caused me some problems, but that's not the fucking point. Um, that, and for those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sure that Hadrian's Wall, there was actually a wall further north, which which very few people know about. Um, and in fact, the furthest outpost of the Roman Empire was in a little town called Braco, where I think I may have mentioned this on the channel before, the, a Roman garrison was marching back to the camp one night and was slaughtered by the Celts or the Picts, whoever it was, because they'd cut all the trees back from the road, but the, 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 the Scottish warrior type people hid in the long grass, kneeling down, you see, which the Romans didn't really see coming. And they say, I think it's on a cold night in October, I forget which day, it might be about now, you can still hear the screams of the Roman garrison as they were cut down. <laughs> So they retreated then. So anyway, Hadrian's Wall, as to get back to my point, actually I think used to be the Scottish English border back in the day. There are large patches of Carlisle and and Newcastle going across, which are basically unclaimed territory because somewhere down the ages someone just decided to move the border basically. Um so that was the I think that was the original English Scottish border. And that's you know, we could have done that now. And it would have solved a lot of fucking problems. <laughs> and Hadrian should have built the fucking hospitals. You know where I'm going. Uh, because actually, the, 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 the rudimentariness of the, of the Nightingale hospitals, they, they probably would have been at the same or similar standard of healthcare back in the Roman days as they are now, to be honest. So I'm not even sure these places have got any running water. How are they generated? Where are they getting the power from? Just ask yourself these questions. They're gonna have they're gonna have to have a fucking generator at the back about the size of a fucking football field to power these places. You need constant fucking if there's gonna be a proper hospital of people living in it, you need constant fucking heating at a certain temperature, you need constant lighting, you need running water, hot and cold running water, you need all these fucking things, you know, that a lot of us just take for granted now, and probably rightly so, because we've had them for so long. But you just think where are they getting the fucking power from for these things? I mean, they're fucking pop-up canvas fucking tents, for crying out loud. <laughs> or they might as well be, compared to the modern taste standards of construction. <laughs> God, to think, Boris, you could have got rid of Nicola Sturgeon. With a few... <laughs> with a few bricks and a bit of cement. <laughs> Oh, instead of building your fucking temper, like Boris, of course, they're temporary and will be forgotten. That's the mark of a true leader. <laughs>